Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about sacrifices are just slaughters. Whenever people start getting into the Torah, frequently people will have kind of a weird feeling about the sacrifices. The idea of the sacrifices seems like a foreign thing to us a lot of times, and it really is a foreign thing in more ways than one. Let's even consider issues like modern food production, for example. We may go to the store and we may or may have at one time go and buy some meat. And we probably aren't going to be thinking too much about the source of that meat. Now we may, you know, kind of in the back of our minds, we may think, well, yeah, this is, this is from an animal and it used to be a live animal and the animal was slaughtered and butchered and then I'm just getting the end product of that. Uh, we may know that, and we probably are thinking about that on some level, but really, it's not something that's very real to us. Even if we go and buy meat, and even if we know that it's, you know, this is from an animal, it's not a very real thing to us because most of us are so detached from agriculture and from the source of our food. And think about this. Let me put the issue of the sacrifices kind of into perspective. Consider what a commercial butcher might do or a commercial uh, person that's slaughtering animals. They have a specific practice that they go through that, that they figured out based upon what it is they're looking to do and based upon what they perceive as efficient for them. So they're probably going to take the animals and they're going to take them to a particular place. They're going to slaughter the animal and then with the blood they're going to do whatever they do with the blood, whether it is they're collecting it for some use or whether they're just discarding it. And then they piece the animal, they process it into whatever end products either that they're going to use or that maybe they personally would use, or products that they're going to sell to other people to process, like the skin being turned into leather, whatever the case may be. So they went through a specific practice. They're going, they're slaughtering at a specific place, and they're doing what they do with the blood, and they're doing what they do with the different parts of the animal. They're processing it into whatever end products that they're wanting to get. This is identical structurally to the slaughters in the Torah. This is identical to the commanded sacrifices. The commanded sacrifices involve taking an animal, taking it to a specific place, slaughtering the animal, and then doing whatever it is that we're supposed to do, depending on the ritual, with the animal and with the animal's parts. So depending upon the ritual, the animal may just be burned up, the animal may be pieced into different parts and different parts are burned up while others are saved or otherwise eaten. So the skin is going to be saved to the priest of Aaron, for example, depending upon the particular ritual. The meat may be eaten depending on what's being done. So it's just a slaughter. It's just the slaughtering of an animal. It's just that the commands are what we're using to determine the practice of it, not efficiency or personal preference. It is just that the practice of how this slaughter is being done, in the case of the sacrifices, is determined by the Torah command. And this whole concept of the sacrifices are just slaughters is actually reflected in the Hebrew language itself. The verb used most frequently for the word sacrifice, so to sacrifice or sacrificing, is zabak. This is the same word that's used to talk about slaughtering for personal use. It's the exact same concept. And we can see in Deuteronomy 12, 15 through 16, even though it's using this word, 
that is frequently translated as sacrifice, even though it's using the exact same word, it's clearly not talking about sacrificing. It's talking about just slaughtering and butchering the animal for your personal use to eat it. Now, it is true that there are different words that are used for specific types of sacrifices, for specific types of slaughters. But the general idea of slaughtering encompasses both the sacrifices and just personal slaughtering for the purpose of meat or whatever the case may be. They are the same idea. And we can consider this in regard to the sacrifices in that the sacrifices are just ritual forms of slaughter. These are just particular rituals that are being commanded by the Torah that are really not that much different from the practices that one would employ whenever one is regularly butchering or whenever one is regularly slaughtering. It is basically the same thing. And we might even consider this in regard to, say, we're butchering for food, say we're slaughtering an animal for food. Think about this. In Leviticus 21, it repeatedly describes what the priesthood of Aaron is doing, the sacrifices. It repeatedly describes it as they are ones causing to near food of your Elohim. A slaughter, a butchering process, is typically done for the purpose of producing food and other products. In the Torah, the commanded sacrifices are just slaughters to produce the food of your Elohim. Elohim just wants his food prepared a very specific way, depending upon which ritual, depending upon which purpose. The sacrifices are just slaughters. Thanks for watching. Be sure that you check out some of my other videos on other Torah issues, and feel free to stay in touch so we can continue this discussion. Thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Shalom.